Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is simple but it has uh, some tricky faces. You see, there are one, two, three, four, five twisted faces, surfaces. The drawing is also simple. This is the drawing. We start by creating the plate 46 on 20 on 5. New standard millimeter CPT new sketch this plane we turn the part to have X to the right then we draw a rectangle with dimensions 46 tab 20 it is a small area you see finish sketch extrude on 5 okay then we create this uh, border this is this is a border dimensions 20 18 2 radius 3 but firstly let's apply fillets of uh, three to three corners one two three okay face sex sketch and uh, we draw lines but firstly i project all the contour line to here keep press the left button go here and back to the line this is not uh, tangent now it is and dimensions are two millimeters on both sides and this dimension of 18 and the radius 1 Finish sketch, extrude, 5 minus 2 with cut, 5 minus 2, ok. To continue the modeling I have to create a cut with a rectangle starting from here but let me project this a rectangle of uh, 10 by 10 we apply extrude with cut all the way through the part Okay, you'll see why this uh, cut. I select this to apply the fillet of three. Okay, another fillet is here with dimension three minus two. Okay. 
Now we use this face for uh, some uh, uh, lines in a sketch. I project uh, this line and also this line. Then I draw a short line here, this one. I project this arc and you see the projection here and I place coincident this line with this point. I draw a line from this point to perpendicular on this and also this line. Okay, finish sketch. Now I create a 3D sketch because I want to draw some uh, curves. I use this spline interpolation tool starting from uh, this point to this point. Then tangent between this and this, this edge exists, but this line is not recognized by 3D sketch. So I have to include that line, this one, in order to apply tangent between this and this. Now I select lines in 3D and make them construction lines. Then I finish the 3D sketch, I double click on the 2D sketch and I also make this as construction. I only now have the opportunity to create that twisted face. I apply patch and I use these four edges to create a face, a twisted face. Okay. Alt F I to apply high contrast for the background. Now we see better what we did here. Next twisted uh, face is between this line and this segment. I have to create a new sketch and uh, project this line a construction line and drawing that segment this one finish sketch then we create a 3d sketch and we include this geometry and uh, this geometry Finish sketch, patch, this line, this line, and this two. Okay. You can see the actual two twisted faces. Now routine. Start 3D sketch. Include this and this spline start from here go here create and tangent this line spline with this uh, edge also this spline 
with this edge this uh, two lines are construction to apply patch we include geometry this edge and patch this 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 and this are limits okay we continue by using this small edge and uh, another one here which must be with the same length as this one to do this and other things we create a new sketch with uh, taking care of projecting this point this is a green point if you can see then we measure with M from Monaco measure this segment here is uh, two millimeters but in other cases can be with a lot of decimals you know copy done line from that point along this line with the uh, paste control V that dimension is copied here another small line for tangency is this one no matter how long is it then finish sketch 3d sketch include this geometry this geometry and our short line this curve they are included we also include this curved entity and we draw another curved entity between this point and this point okay then tangent this and this you see how they look once again we select this we select this and we apply construction finish sketch double click on the sketch and make this also construction finish sketch and we apply patch patch using this and this and we have that uh, face okay this sketch is no more necessary and we have also this nice face here the last twisted uh, face is uh, between this and here we use this uh, face for a new sketch f5 to see better and we project just this line and we also project this point to draw a small line from the point to the end of that line finish sketch 3d sketch we include 
this and this finish and patch this 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 and okay you see now I can apply alt F I with the presentation okay now we use this face for a new sketch we project this line and one corner to create a rectangle finish sketch and to apply extrude of this face to this face okay then sculpt we select faces three four five and we have a green volume okay this is the part my friends let's see what is the volume i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is almost the same we eliminate the previous value and we keep what we did the material is still cast still carbon we hide the the edges and we change the light that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye